Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. As some of you know, I do not eat except for once a day. I fast until five every day. You can check out some of the videos I've done on that here in my, my fitness playlist. This will be a fitness video, obviously, fitness and diet. I get a lot of questions about that. Let me, let me clarify a few things here. I wanted to talk about what I do, <laughs> more, more specifics. So do, what, what do I mean by fasting? What I mean is a, a water faster, basically no calories until five o'clock. So will I drink coffee? Sure, why not? Will I drink some water? Yeah, let's have some water. Will I drink a diet beverage? Occasionally, but I, I try to avoid, I try to avoid any sucralose or anything like that. But I'm not quite sure if, it, if it's gonna be harmful or not, but you know, why, why mess with it? I find that it, it's better to just try to avoid that kind of stuff, right? So that's, that's the basics, okay? That's, and then at five o'clock, do I eat one meal? Yes, typically one meal. Do I eat until midnight? No, I don't do that. It's not like a fasting window. It's like literally one meal a day. Now, sometimes do I eat a little bit more? Yeah, I, sometimes. But in general, the idea, the plan that I'm following is, is really one meal. Did I come up with this myself? Yes. Am I crazy? Yes. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah, it works. Okay. Now, what I want to address actually though is a question that I've gotten a lot, which is, how do you deal with blood glucose drops during the day? Does your blood glucose drop? A lot of people have said this. They've said, I'm trying to do intermittent fasting or I'm trying to do one meal a day, OMAD, as, as we now call it. And I, I have blood glucose problems. So first of all, I would say that test it, okay? I've got this thing, yeah, it's a glucose meter. It allows me to test ketones as well. We'll put an Amazon link here. It's, I forget the, the name of it, but there, there's a few of them out here. We'll, we'll put one up. I think it's the Dex, Dexta, Dexta one. I don't know, we, we could look that up and figure that out later. But by the time you're watching this video, it'll be, it'll be the right one, right? So, but here's the thing, monitor it first of all if you feel like that's happening and see, is your blood glucose dropping? And again, I'm gonna have to give you a quick warning here. I'm not, do I look like a doctor? No. Do I look like I have any kind of professional certifications in, or medical accreditations? No. I'm just telling you what I think. So don't take this as medical advice or anything because just I'm just some guy on YouTube that has guns. So if you like guns, do what I say. <laughs> but it's not medical advice. All right, here's the thing though. Monitor, okay, and see. First of all, that's the first thing because if you're thinking, oh, my blood glucose is dropping, you might be full of shit. You might not know. Monitor and see, okay? Now, I have monitored mine and I can tell you that I have, when I end up going off of my normal routine or I eat a lot of carbohydrates or I'm, I'm, I'm ch changing things up. I have had some blood glucose fluctuations, okay? Or if I cut carbs when I was eating carbs and, and doing the fasting and I have seen my blood glucose drop to probably like 60. I, I don't really think I've seen it drop lower than that, but you could feel that. I could feel 60 and I was like, oh, okay, that, that makes a little bit of sense here. But I have found in general and this may not work for everyone, but I have found in general that the, if you can make it for about two weeks doing the one meal a day and doing it very strictly and doing that long-term fasting that your body sort of self-regulates and your, your glucose, your blood glucose starts to become more level. I think it's because you become less insulin resistant and more insulin sensitive and your body is smart and sort of, sort of even things out. But if you've been eating a ton of calories and eating all day and snacking all the time, your body's used to getting sugar all the time it makes a lot of sense that when it doesn't get the sugar that it's going to drop, right? And significantly, you know, your body is a, is a very awesome system for dealing with a variety of inputs and outputs. And I don't know about dealing with the outputs, but at least dealing with the inputs, right? If you drink a bunch of water, you will shed water. <laughs> you, you can lose water in the next few days if you over, right? If you have a lot of sodium, again, you're, and then you stop having sodium, you can trick your body in different ways. It's gonna adapt based on, on what you're doing. So if you're eating carbs all day long and then you stop eating for like 18 hours, guess what's gonna happen? You're probably, your blood sugar is going to drop. So my advice to you would be one, measure. Always like, don't make assumptions, test it, see. Maybe it's not even dropping at all. And two, 
try and see if it levels off because it probably will. It has for me. So that's that's w would be my advice. It's still gonna be hard. It's not super easy to eat one meal a day. It's never gonna be easy, but did, did you really want an easy life? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants an easy life? I don't want a fucking easy life. I want to fucking earn the shit that I got. I want it to be hard and I want to be harder than my life. That's, that's, that's my dream. That's my dream for you too. All right, if you got more fitness questions, more ideas, questions about what I'm doing, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. I can't answer all the questions, but I do look at them all and some of them I can make some videos out of. All right, I will talk to you next time. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. See ya.